Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Dear students, welcome to my class. I am Muhammad Hussain, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Bhagapur College, Kerdingons, Dhaka. Today, I would like to discuss about writing determiner and modifier from second paper. In your syllabus, it has been placed in the number 9. In short, determina is for two purposes initially. Firstly, when an, any article comes for making anything definite or indefinite, it is called determina. Uh, such as a pen. The example is that a pen, here A is determina because it made the pen indefinite. Another example is the tree. Here is the is determiner because it made the word tree definite. The second format of determiner is that some words from pronoun or adjective when they come before any noun for expressing amount, size, number, etc. Like some, few, use, little, etc. are the few examples of this item. Few persons are there. Here few is determina. Moreover, we would discuss modifier shortly. Modifier means to illustrate any word with another word. There are two types of modifier, pre-modifier and post-modifier. Now we can say shortly about that for your perception. Firstly, noun is modified by any adjective. The example is, he is an honest man. Here, honest is modifier for the word man, because man is noun. Secondly, adjective is modified by adverb. The example is, he is a very good player. Here, very is modifier for the adjective good. Thirdly, verb is modified by any adverb. The example is, he did the work carefully. Here, carefully modifies the verb did. Another format of modifier is that the adverbs do, so, very are called intensifier. Intensifier means something that make anything more intense. He is so intelligent. Here, so is intensifier because it intensified the word or adjective intelligent. Fifthly, the phrase started with any preposition is to be said as prepositional phrase by adverbials. The example is, they came here with a view to helping me. Here, with a view, view to is adverbials because it has started with a preposition with. Sixthly, uh, to with, to with the base form of verb is called infinitive. And if any word is attached with infinitive, then it can be named as infinitive phrase. The example is Kamal went there to have something. Seventhly, ing with the base form of verb named as present participle. Whenever we make any word with ing, they can be called as present participle or gerund. And if we add any word with present participle, that can be called as participle phrase. In number eight, we can say some, many, few, little, etc. are considered as quantifier in modifier and determiner section. In number nine, whenever we find any adjective and noun or noun and adjective combinedly that can be called as noun adjective. In number 10, to define something providing with a comma or to illustrate something with a comma that can be called as a positive like whenever we write down in any application format, we with comma the students of Bhagapur College would like to go to study to, then 
we before comma would be illustrated by some definition like the experience of our college etc in number 11 some words like his her my your etc are some positive adjective and whenever they come before any noun they can be called as adjective or modifier of that noun in number 12 these that these those are some of the words that can be classified as demonstrative pronoun and these are brought before any noun and can be modifier for that kind of noun this is the brief discussion for a determiner and modifier in your syllabus hope you all perceive this and would practice from any test paper that you have thanks uh, to all for you watching this class see you again soon inshallah